Uh, today I'm going to show you on the Zorn how to uh, install a Wi-Fi D-Link driver. First you want to go to your applications. Go to Ubuntu Software Center. Take a while to load. I'm recording with the Ubuntu Record. You can get a, click on you installed software. You'll be clicking at 7 up here. And you'll get that. Then you'll click WI. WI. Now you'll see your right here your news wrap. You want to make sure you have them. They come pre installed usually, but if they don't, you put your get software. After you've got them, then you want to click up here. And go to your site, your D-Link. Make sure you have your D-Link driver. Have the right version. Do not plug it in when you're installing your driver or you'll get an error. Click on United States. Make sure you have the right version. Mine's E. So you click on that. And then you go to Drivers. Click on that, and then you click on this one right here. This is the one you want. You download it. Have your downloads. After you've downloaded it, then you'll right click on it and you'll open the folder. Well, then you click on it and you'll see drivers. Well, after it opens, which I'll show you right here. downloads now there's your downloads right there and when you open it you'll get your drivers you'll right click and it'll say extract I've already opened mine now this is the one you want to do you click on this extract again you'll get your INF that's the one you want put that in a separate folder if you want because you'll have to find it when you go to your Wi-Fi driver Click on your applications, let's see, system, you might, your start menu might be on the bottom. Now you want to go down here. Now this is your Wi-Fi drivers. You click on your search and your run down here at the bottom. But there you go, you click on that. You'll have to install your, you type your password in. Okay. Now mine's installed. You see it's installed. You'll get install new driver. When you click on that, it'll open. It'll say, I have a little folder icon here. You click on the folder icon, and if you click on the click on the INF, then you'll click install. And this works better on Zorn than it did on any of my windows. So I hope, hope you enjoyed this video, video and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.